and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be working on designing these business cards that I made for my sister. I did this using Canva and everything was free. I'll show you guys how easy it is to use. Canva is very beginner friendly. I'll be doing front and back. There'll also be a part two of this video where I show you guys how I print and cut with my Cricut, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's get started. Well, I love using Canva. As you can see, I work for a real estate company as their marketing person, so I make holiday cards. Um, also for my sister, I made these. And for myself, I have some, you know, some instructions that I've made before. And Canva is great because it's free. Unless you want to use more features, you can totally pay for it. Canva also has the option after you're done creating something, you can buy them and they'll send you whatever you made so you don't have to print them out yourself. So once you're on Canva, you just select a template. You can start from just nothing, but I do like to use templates because of the fonts and um, you know, there's also ideas that you can get inspiration from. Also try Pinterest or Google, just get like an idea of what you want. As you can see here, there is a section that just says business card, which is the one I'm going to use. You can start with the blank canvas here or on the side over here, you can look up the type of business cards you were looking for. For example, this one is a free one that you can use. It looks like it's a beauty treatment card. Again, this one looks like a marketing manager card. And this one is a makeup card. So if you happen to like this card and you want to make this one your own, you are free to change them however you want. If you don't want the flowers, you can delete them. If you want to move this out of the way, you don't want the polka dots, you can delete that too. You can also change the colors of the background. I don't know, maybe you want a black card and you want some white polka dots as well. You can also, I don't know, put this right here. When you have the templates, they are completely customizable. So you can always pick a template and then just fix it to be your own. So you can't just delete this and start blank how I said. Here on the side, I have pictures that I have used before. You can upload any media you want. Um, it's very easy. I have like, I don't know, this gold background. We can add it. And then if you want your cards to be gold, this could be the background and you just add to the top of it, whatever you want. It's very easy. <laughs> if you have images like this and you want to use them, but see how it has a background, you can remove the background with Canva, but you have to pay for the subscription. What I like to do is go to remove.bg. Right here, you can upload an image and it'll remove the background for you. Say you wanted to remove the background from this picture. Now it removed it for you and it's 100% free so you can download it. And once we go back to Canva here, I upload the image. You can see it's been added and it's just the image with no background. So I'm so proud of my little sister for starting her lash business. She is a mother of two and of course when she told me she wanted business cards, I was more than happy to help her out. We wanted something simple so I just made something like this and for the back of it, again, something very simple. She also asked me to do loyalty cards, which are these, and refer friend cards. As you can see, they all kind of have the same theme, but for now, I'll show you how I did these. And I've always said that I always find free images on Google. That is how I got this flower. And I just put one in the corner here, and then I duplicated it. And I rotated a little bit so it could look a little better. And I put it on this side. Next is the text and I just clicked add subheading and here I'm going to write the name of her business which is Lash Style Beauty. And if you wanted to keep that font, it is up to you but I used a font called Better Saturday. And here we go. Now I'll move this over and of course we make it bigger. And what's great about this is that you can move it around and see where like the middle is so everything could be centered properly. Next, we're gonna add some information to how to contact her. And for that font, I used Alice. I have also uploaded these right here. And these are great for promoting your social media accounts. And what I did here is I just uploaded everything without the background. And when I crop it, I only keep what I want. So I only wanted the Facebook and the Instagram one and then enter and that is all we get here. Here I'm gonna write her Instagram. 
To make the back of the business card, all I did was go over here and it says duplicate page right on the corner. Once it's duplicated, you can see here in the bottom, now we have two of the same cards. The first one I'm going to leave as is and the second one is the one that I'm going to change. For the front of the card, my sister wanted to keep it very simple, so I'm just going to delete this part. And she just wanted it to say, Lashes by Tanya. So I'm going to write by and... And the top here, I'm just going to delete this part and write Lashes. And I wanted to make this a bit bigger. And I'm going to keep the flower up here, but... I'm going to delete this and over here on the images I already uploaded the hand and I'm just going to be adding it to this side but it's kind of awkward facing that way so right here we have a flip option and we can just flip it horizontal and that looks a lot better right just keep going keep making whatever cards you want it's really easy just keep duplicating Right here I duplicated and I have another section. If I click on the first one, that is the back of our card. Here is the front of the card and I don't know, you could do your uh, loyalty cards just how I did my sister's. It was again, very easy. I like to just keep duplicating and then just changing as I go. That way you get to keep the same theme. And a lot of the time what you can do is just go back to whatever card has the information that you wanted. I want to include her Instagram on the loyalty lash cards, so I'm just going to copy, go to the loyalty, and then just paste here. Right here, I'll write her terms. And down here, I just put the numbers. So I went to text, and here on the fonts that it gives you, I clicked on the suite, which is a Nicolaini font. Of course, I made it smaller. And then I just wrote one, two, three, four, five. You can make it smaller. And there we go. Of course, you can add more space in between them. Like I said, it's up to you how you want to make them. And as you can see, we already made three cards in less than 15 minutes. Like I mentioned before, Canva has the option where you can Ask them to print your cards for you. Quality business cards delivered to your doorsteps. And you can see here what the cards look like. You can make them double-sided or single-sided. It's up to you. You select, um, I, since you want them double-sided, you probably don't want to include the loyalty cards. So I could just select that. I just want pages one and two, which would be these two here. Down here, you select the type of paper you want, the kind of finish you want. And these are the price breakdowns. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found this helpful. It's really easy to make your own business cards for free. You don't have to spend any money. And if you like this video and found it helpful, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate all the support. Please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much.